According to current Minister of Government with responsibility for the Robert L. Bratcher International Airport through Scarsborough, the resurfacing or reconstruction of the aircraft pack and apron in front of the terminal will be treated as a matter of urgency. Speaking with SKN Newsline recently, Minister Marshall Henderson said an airline had threatened to pull out of St. Kitts as a result of the bad condition of the apron, hence the need for urgent action. However, SKN Newsline understands that the situation that exists now cannot and should not be blamed on the previous Team Unity administration, which took office in 2015. Ian Patrice Leibert was the minister with responsibility for the airport and civil aviation matters. He spoke with SK Newsline on this matter, explaining the circumstances that drove the need for rehabilitation work. The Eastern Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority in 2015 wrote to the Ministry of Civil, Civil Aviation here in St. Kitts and Nevis, right, recommending that no aircraft over 66,000 pounds should land at the Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw Airport. I mean, that, that's like closing your airport. They also recommended in a subsequent letter that we should suspend all night landings at the RLB. And that derived the need to go into the infrastructure development at the airport, because the airport was in a horrible state when Team Unity got into office, and I got into office. So phase one of, of the Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw Airport infrastructure rehabilitation plans was the resurfacing of the entire runway, including Taxiway Bravo and Charlie. And that was done at the cost of $18 million. The lighting was another cost, I think it's 3.5 or more million dollars. I'm just dragging my memory here. And we got that through a loan uh, and a grant from the uh, SID. Right. According to Mr. Leibert, the steps needed to be taken to renovate the apron and other critical work was done by the time he left office. Then we went into phase two. Phase two would have included the rehabilitation of taxiway alpha which is the main taxiway to connect to the runway and that was done at the cost of 30 million dollars that was done about two years ago right uh phase two also included rehabilitation of the apron parking which was to be done at an estimated cost of some 40 million dollars so preparations were made for that uh even before i left office and I know I, I limited office in, in, in June of 2020. I can't speak for what went different after my, 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 my leaving office. So to say that the, there was no preparations uh, uh, done for the apron parking is not true. It's not factual. And the, the files are there. SK Newsline contacted former Minister Lindsey Grant, who took over the responsibility for Scarsboro. Grant told SK Newsline that the intervention of COVID-19 put a halt on the project, as no revenue was coming into Scarsboro to service the loan. It should be noted also that further action on the project was subsequently negated with the general elections coming into play for the short-lived second term of the Team Unity government. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.